Do you know Marin Morris? So, so many people, including Drew, who's a huge country fan, had never heard of Marin Morris. Like, no, like, so she had a pop song. I think it was called Rich. She mentions Diddy in the song. It was really popular. It was like on the airwaves, top 40 all the time. This is her. You see, boy, does she look miserable. Does she not? I mean, look at the face. Look, she just looks like she's in a really bad mood and she's going to eat someone up and spit them out. So this is Maren Mo Morris. And she was apparently a country star that nobody heard of until she made this song that went to top 40. And then she was like, okay, well, I'm going to leave country. I'm going to leave country because of Trump. Kid you not. She did this big article in the LA Times, this big interview, came out sometime around this time last year. She said she's getting the hell out of country music because I've said everything I can say. And if you read the article, basically, she just couldn't stand the fact that country fans liked Trump. So she didn't want to have this commonality. I suspect it's a little less about politics and a little bit more about Marin's bottom line. Well, capitalism, right? You see, she's out with a, a new song and her fans are like, huh? Well, by the way, she doesn't really have any fans anymore. She's trying to accumulate new ones by being anti-country and by saying, you know, can't, country doesn't, doesn't do enough for the gay community, the trans community, this, that, and the other. That's her complaint. So now Marin Morris <laughs> apparently has a new identity and a new song. A new song in which she's dumping all over those country values. A new identity in that she has now revealed that she likes men and women. <laughs> and then the third thing is like her new song is all about never falling in love again. She says she'll never fall in love again, ever, 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 because you see, she just divorced her husband, a country music singer. Maybe this is why she hates country music so much. Ryan Hurd was her husband. Again, I guess I'm out of it because I don't know who he is either. <laughs> and I do like country music, but I must just be listening to the same tunes over and over again. Anyway, Ryan Hurd is the guy she's divorcing, and now she's coming out as, as liking everyone, okay? But she's not going to fall in love again. Because, you know, falling in love, like, that's a conservative thing. Liberals, we don't fall in love. We play the field, right? Apparently the whole field, <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this, this came up recently in Snow White. <laughs> Remember uh, the, the movie that they were going to redo at Disney? And they got that girl who was in West Side Story. Gosh, she was good in West Side Story. But she said a few things on the red carpet about falling in love. I mean, why would anybody want to fall in love? Snow White, why on earth is it about meeting your prince? and living happily ever after. I mean, she just dumped all over the movie. Here we go. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there's a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. <clears throat> yeah, because, you know, silly you, why do you actually want to have love, love and family and live in happily ever after? You know, that's just for the conservatives. That's for the country music people. So between this one... By the way, they've pulled the plug on that. That 300 and some odd million dollar project reportedly, they've pulled the plug on Snow White. I think they, you know, they got a little intimidated by Brett Cooper and Ben Shapiro coming through with their real Snow White. I can't wait to see that movie. But this one, that's a, uh, well, we don't know. We don't know what's happening with that one. Apparently, if the main character doesn't even like Snow White, you might have a little bit of a problem. But there's a commonality here, you see? Like, they're, they're against love, they're against marriage, they're against traditional values and traditional rules. I'm sorry, but, like, traditional values, like, they're pretty good, right? Like, they, they've helped us get to where we are. And you can't argue with where we are. I mean, heck, the whole world wishes they were 
where we are. They wish they could be the United States of America. They wish they could be American. We are the envy of the world for a reason. A lot of these values with family, with work, that's what's gotten us here. Not handouts, not communism or socialism. So we got to work hard to preserve these values. You know, I'll tell you, my friends over at Americans for Prosperity, AFP, they're working hard every single day. Americansforprosperity.org. Go check them out because they've got brilliant ideas about health care, about the economy, about the policy choices that we need to make for the future to make sure that we do have a better future. I mean, you don't think about this a lot, but guess what? Economic policy has a huge effect on things like marriage, on families, all of this, right? It all matters. You get this much inflation, you think you're really going to get a great birth rate? People worry, for example, about our birth rate here in the United States, saying, you know what? We don't have we don't have enough young kids being born. So guess what? They're coming up with the creative ideas there at AFP, americansforprosperity.org. I really do encourage you to go check them out today, ladies and gentlemen.